Good morning! It's Melody Lane here! It's not morning! No idea what time it is actually. I was at work until about 6 and then Mandy, my friend at work, and I went out to eat to this new Japanese restaurant and it was so good. And look at our plates. Our plates, we had caviar? No, didn't have caviar. We had sushi. <laughs> fish mixed up. We had sushi, this California rolls. It was really good. I've never had it before. I have had sushi in the past, but I don't even know what I was eating. This time, those California rolls, and they were awesome. And the plate was so big and so beautiful. It had a little flower on it. And our plates, like, I know you can't see my arms. I don't know. They were like, okay, maybe this is the size of a normal plate for dinner. They were like this big. Two plates would not even fit on the table like across from each other. I had to move mine to the side and she had to move hers to the side. They were huge. They were not like, oh, what, what are those things called underneath your plates that they sell at Michael's to craft on? Oh, my mind is blank. Oh, well, anyway, you know what I mean, right? No, it's like two or three inches bigger than that. They're like bigger than platters. They were huge. The tray that they carry, all the food on that they carry out to the table, they were as big as that. They were huge. Is that normal for Japanese restaurants? I don't know. I don't go to them quite often. But it was really good. And it was just like a few blocks from work, so that was cool. So what do you guys all think about the new Cricut Explorer? I see lots of people on the Cricut message board like saying, oh, we've been promised so much in the past and I have enough crickets and I don't know. I'm just excited about it. I can't wait until February 12th when it's going to be on HSN. I can't wait to see how much it is. I can't wait to see what comes with it. I just love new things. Can you guys tell I like new things the way I shop? But not just things. I like change, I guess. I like being able to cut my own stuff. You can create your own files and cut them. I'm not quite sure how to do that yet, but I'm going to learn. I'm really too tired to be doing this video because my mind is out. I will be getting a Cricut and I will be making videos on it. I am going to learn to make my own cut files. Maybe I'll teach you to how to make your own cut files. That would be fun. We could share cut files back and forth. And if you did not get a chance to watch my live hangout, my 30 minute card challenge. Okay, so it took us more than 30 minutes. I could have done it in 30 minutes, but we were chatting and people were telling us what to do and the chatting wasn't going as quickly as like we weren't getting the responses as soon as they typed them in. But anyway, so here's my Christmas card that we made in case you guys missed it. It's from the Winter Wonderland cartridge. And there's little micro beads on the Merry Christmas. And so as people put in suggestions, we did them. I did them. And Noelle was helping me. Thanks, Noelle. You are awesome. She's so funny. We're going to try to do that once a month. That was fun. And next month, we have a thing planned. You craft with me also, and we kind of have a list of things for you to have with you if you want to craft along. And that will be listed again. So don't worry about that. We'll let you know things you need to make this really cool card. And you don't need a Cricut to make the card. Well, anyway, if you want to see the video for this, I'll put a link right here. It's on my craft channel. It's kind of a long video, but you don't have to watch it all. You can fast forward some of it the beginning. Do you guys know how to skip ahead in a YouTube video if you don't want to watch the whole thing? If you want me to show you how to do that, I'll show you sometime. Just let me know if you don't know how to skip ahead. You just move the little circle thing. I just move it forward. Sometimes you have to wait a second for the internet to catch up. Sometimes you can like move it and it'll show you frames. So sometimes you can see the next frame because I'm kind of impatient sometimes when I'm watching videos. So I have to skip ahead sometimes. Okay. And when I got home from work today, there was happy mail. 
This is from Carol Horton. I am going to do a video on all this on my craft channel soon, like maybe tomorrow I'll do it. I was going to do it tonight, but I spent too long on the internet, on YouTube and Facebook and the message board tonight, and now I'm like really tired. So I'm not good if I do videos when I'm so tired. I can't edit them. They're a lot more boring if I edit when I'm tired. So I try not to be tired, but I got close to my heart idea book. It's pretty cool. And I'll show you everything that's inside. And this is from Carol Horton. She sent me more than just the idea book. I got a workshop on the go. This is the balloon ride one. And look at these things it comes with, these little flourishes. Look, I'm gonna open everything up and show you on my craft channel. But as soon as I saw those, I knew what I wanted to do with those. Can anyone guess what I'm going to do with them? Okay, pause the video, comment below, and tell me what I should do with them. Really, pause it and comment. Now is the time. Okay, did you put in your response? I am going to put them on my new Cricut Explore machine. So I know I'm getting one. I have to have and I think these are like kind of elegant and I think they would look really nice on my new Cricut machine. I think so. Now I gotta make room for it. I think I'm gonna have to move one of my Cricut shelves because the way it opens up, I don't think it'll fit underneath the shelf. It'll be able to be on the top shelf. And I don't wanna put it on the top, top shelf over there. It's too high. Cause that's the, the one I'm gonna be using the most. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, that's not all she sent me. As I told you before, if you watch my videos, she sent me the art booking. Woohoo! And it comes with stamps. And this also came with stamps. I love the stamps. And lots of other stuff. So I will show you everything it comes with in my video on the craft channel. And I will even take you through the entire book. I know a lot of people show what it comes with, so you might have already seen it. But I'm going to show you every page in the book. That's what I usually do. I show you every page in the book. And you guys seem to like that, but I will do that part last. So if you're not interested in seeing what's inside the book totally, then you can watch everything else and go on to your next video. Okay, you guys say you like my little calendar. We did January 10th, no funny t story you can tell a five-year-old. And in my last vlog video where I did these, it wasn't yesterday, but maybe the day before, somebody did tell a funny story. Sorry, I have not been replying to the comments so much. I've been reading a lot about the new Cricut machine. So I'm sorry. Uh, but I do read every single comment. I love comments, so thank you for commenting. Keep them coming. And someone did comment, and I, you guys should all go read my comments, because you guys are really smart and like to share a lot of tips and stuff. Go back in my videos and read some of my comments from other people, because I don't know everything. I learned from you guys also. But somebody told me a cute story that their seven-year-old, a joke that their seven-year-old is always saying. So go read it. It's fun. And now we're up to January 11th and 12th. Even though today is January 21st, I'm a little behind. We got started late. And I don't do it every day. Okay, receive orders gracefully. Give orders confidently. That means if someone's giving you orders, you take the orders and do them. And when you give orders, you do them confidently. Don't say... Will you go do that? You say, go do that. Yeah, that's what that means, I guess. But it'll work. It'll get things done if you do it that way, especially to your kids. You can't just ask your kids to do something like, honey, will you go do this for me? They're going to say no if they don't want to. You say, you better go do this, da, 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 whatever. And they'll do it. Know the location of your home's breaker box and the location of several flashlights 
matches and candles. Okay, I did need my breaker box the other day. I know it was a couple weeks ago. And I've never used it. I've never had to use one ever in my life. I'm 42, I think. Yeah. I'm going to be 43 in April. Okay, I'm still 42 though. <laughs> so anyway, this room I'm in, my craft room, is actually the dining room of the house. But I don't cook or I have dinner parties, so was no need to have a dining room. So I have a craft room instead. And my kitchen is right next door. And right on the other side of this wall is my refrigerator, my microwave. And then I have, on this wall, it has the light here is hooked up, and this light, maybe it's this whole room. And I have all my crickets and my laptop hooked up. And at the time, I also had a heater in here, an electric heater plugged in to the same outlet as my crickets and my laptop and everything. Well... I went to go make, my refrigerator was also running, and I went to go make some microwave popcorn, and boom, the microwave went out. I'm like, what happened? I'm like, the electricity's on other places in the house. I open my refrigerator, it's dead. And I look in my craft room, it's dark. My heater was off. I was like, oh my God, my crickets aren't gonna work. Can you believe that's the first thing I thought of? How am I going to use my Cricut? The electricity isn't working in here. Okay, that's not the first thing I should have been thinking about. But then, you know, a few seconds later, I'm like, oh, I could move my Cricut and plug it in somewhere else. Yeah. My mind is only in my craft room. Well, anyway, I'm like, oh, I don't know what to do. Um, so I knew the breaker was down there. So I went down there. Not with a flashlight, but with my cell phone because it has a flashlight on it. So I went down there because it's dark in my basement. There's only like one light and it's not very bright. So I went down there with my flashlight and I saw where it said like where the stove is, the breaker. It says like what it is and you just can flip those back and forth. I knew that works sometimes if, I know people have said that you just flip it. So I didn't see anywhere for the dining room. So I was flipping buttons around the kitchen and that, and I came back upstairs. I had no one here to tell me, oh, it's working or not. So I just had to flip them and then come back upstairs. And when I came back upstairs, my stove light, my stove clock was flashing. So I did hit that, but then I put it back on. Well, anyway, I figured it out and got it on right away. I don't even know why I just told you that story. Except for that this says, to know it. If I didn't know where it was... And well, I would have had to call my landlord, I guess. But I know where, I don't know where matches are. I know where a big, those big long lighters are and some candles. And my cell phone has a flashlight. We will save the others for next time. And I will see you in another video tomorrow. Bye guys, love you.